Hey everybody, it's George Wooden again from BW Unlimited Charity Fundraising, your North American charity fundraising leader in a one-stop shop setting. Check out our website at www.bwunlimited.com. Bwunlimited.com. Wearing my hoodie today. Proud of this. Shout out to the Maryland State Police. Spent 20 years with with the Maryland State Police. And um, this is also a shout out because they've got a monster, monster event. Well over a thousand people coming up one in May um, called the Road Dog Rumble. That we are be proud. We are proud absolutely as a retired state trooper myself. We are absolutely proud to be a part of. And it's going to be insane. Absolutely insane. Can't wait. Can't wait. So today, even though it's a Saturday, work doesn't stop, right? You got stuff to do. A couple things this week have, have happened that I thought I would do a quick video blog about. This is about committees. Everybody wants to know how to build a committee and what's the importance of a committee. You cannot, you, you, that's right, the one watching here, you cannot do a, a fantastic fundraiser without having a committee. Now, you could call it a team, you could call it a committee, you could call it a, a group. I'm going to call it help. You need help and you need a lot of help. And here's why. Okay, first, let's talk about why you need a committee. The bigger your committee is, the more people you can reach. Now, you're probably watching this right now on Facebook, right? Right. I know why you are because I'm going to load it onto Facebook so you see it. Now, everybody on Facebook is will out will, will, that knows you, your friends or whatever will help you if you ask for help. If you ask them to help. So in order to be the, the reason that you're for your committee to help you, you need them to help you sell tickets, get donations, maybe work your event, whatever, whatever, whatever. There are different roles. One person can't do it all. Now, how, how to build a committee is this. Ready? Here's the secret. Get ready to write it down. I'll give you a second. Secret is ask people. That's it. Just ask. Just ask people. Hey, I'm going to have an awesome party. Or... I'm having an event for this, or I'm having a fundraiser for that. Ask. Just ask. People will respond. you got to ask. Next thing is, is this. Ask everybody, your brothers, your sisters, your aunts, your uncles, your friends, the people you work with, your neighbor, your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your cousins, their husbands, their wives, their girlfriends, their boyfriends, whatever, whatever, whatever you want. Adults, though. Adults. Absolutely adults. And I'm not talking 18-year-old adults. I'm talking like 25 and older. You need adults. Now, the other thing is this, committees, committees are built in rings. Okay, here is the rings of a committee. One, the initial ring of the committee are the leaders. That's the leadership. That's you. That's the people who really feel strongly about what the fundraiser is for. It's usually like the charity or the benefit. That, that strong ring, those people are always going to be there. That's the leadership. Now, outside of that ring is another ring. That's also the committee. That's not the leadership. These are the people who are who are really there to help you, who really want to be a part of it, who are at every one of your meetings, who will follow you on Facebook, who will hit the like button, who will do it, do it, do it. They're always there. So you got the leadership ring. You get now you got a ring around that one. The leadership ring, the middle, that's the strongest part. And the outside ring, the committee. They come to every meetings and they want jobs. They want you to give them something to do, right? Now, middle, next one. Now, the next one is the even larger ring. So it's a like a bullseye. Ring, ring, and then a ring. Okay, the big ring. That's also the committee. Those people are called, I like to call them committee helpers. Committee helpers are people who are there to help. They're not going to come to every meeting. They're not going to whatever, 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 but they'll probably come to your event and they're they're going to help you at your event. They'll try to get you some donations. They'll try to sell tickets. Everybody will help. You need the three rings of a committee. There's the three rings of a committee. Leadership, actual committee, and then committee helpers. Leadership, committee, committee helpers. You need to grow that thing. Grow it and grow it and grow it and grow it as big as you possibly can because the more people you have on your committee, the bigger your event's going to be. Now, if you think, oh, I'm Johnny Control Freak, I'm going to control everything, I'm going to do all this on my own, guess what? You're going to have a small event. You're not going to be like uh, Jen Krause, who d does a lot and can do a lot with a lot of things, who was part of the Blues Brothers Bash Maryland. You're not going to be a part of somebody like that. That's 
few and in between. You need help. It takes help. And all my clients will tell you it takes help. Because the one thing BW Unlimited does not do is we do not sell tickets, nor do we get donations. You need, I'm going to tell you how, but you need committee. You need a lot of people in your committee that will help you sell tickets and get donations. Now, the general rule that I like to say is this. Every person on your committee can at least sell one table of 10 people. That means 10 tickets. They can at least sell 10 tickets. So if you've got 20, you're talking 200. Now, uh, recently I did an event uh, about a year ago all called the Austin Smash event. On that event, was on that committee was a fellow uh, husband and wife by the name of Angie and Phil Dickey. Well, these guys are like a cut above the rest because Phil Dickey sold like 40 tables by himself. So... A lot of these people in your committee, especially the inner core, not the leadership, but the inner core, they can sell four, five, six tables. But here's the deal. Committee. You've got to grow a committee. The committee will help. They'll help you get the word out on Facebook. They'll help you pass the word. They'll help you talk to friends. Blah, 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 blah. Grow a committee. How you build a committee like this, you ask mothers, fathers, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, cousins, people you work with your neighbors their wives if it's a bunch of police officers because we do a lot of police events like the maryland state police event road dog rumble or the blues brothers bash ohio we're getting ready to do one in texas that i'm amped about that for swat teams going to be a big swat team texas uh blues brothers bash ask their wives this is a bunch of cops guys right their wives and i'm going to give you another thing you know who the most important per people on the committees are sorry dudes it's the girls, it's the ladies, it's the women. The women can handle stress a hell of a lot better, and that's right, I said it, a heck of, heck of a, we're a hell of a lot better than us guys. They think better through stress than we do. They're better, simply that. So, everybody, husband and wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, aunt, uncle, your neighbor, his wife, girlfriend, girlfriend, blah, 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 the people we work with. And the recruiting tool is this. Hey, you can either, you use whatever recruiting tool you wanna do. Hey, we're gonna, Help me with this fundraiser for this cause. One, two. I'm the big fan of number two. Number two, which is everybody likes to be a part of the winning team. We're going to have this awesome event. Awesome BW Unlimited. There's this bald-headed guy coming in. We're going to do this really cool event. And do you want to be a part of it? It's going to be a rock star. It's going to be so cool. You want to be a part of it? Everybody likes excitement. So, either or, use whatever tactic you can, or just come out and help them. Say, hey, I really need your help. Everybody likes to be asked. Ask, ask on Facebook, ask your friends. Spread the word, spread the word, spread the word, spread the word. Build your committee as big as you can. Remember, leadership, committee, committee helpers. Got me? If you have any questions, tell you what, give me a call right here on my cell phone. 443, let me say it again, 443. 206-6121. My name is George. 443-206-6121. Or you can email me at george at bwlimited.com. I'm always on my cell. And to be honest with you, I'm in and out of the office so much. Um, call me directly. Talk to me. Check out our website at www.bwunlimited.com. bwunlimited.com. The North American charity fundraising leader in a one-stop shop setting. We can help you with everything. Auction items, auctioneers, event staff, you name it, we can do it for you. All across the country. Yes, we will work in Alaska. If you want us to come, we'll be there. So that's today's lesson, how to build a committee. One, two, three. Give us a call. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.